So what's up everybody? Uh, this is uh, Paul with Ballista Comics and uh, I want to give you guys an update and also I want to talk to you about a, about a subject that I'm going to keep pushing and keep talking about and we're going to talk about creativity and the line between uh, being an artist and being a business person. Okay, so here's the deal. People who create comics for the most part, the majority of us are artists. We're not business people getting into art. We're art people getting into business. So you have to understand that the, the priority for you, yeah, you want to tell great stories. Yes, you want to have good art or great art, right? But we spend the majority of our lifetime um, improving art. You can't spend the majority of your lifetime creating your knowledge of business, okay? That's something you always constantly have to investigate, upgrade, and understand what it is you're doing. If you want to get into the business of creating comics or webtoons or um, manga, then understand the business. Understand what it is you're trying to get to. I think people have lost or, or either they never really studied that part that whatever you're trying to get into, study it. Eat, sleep, breathe it. We all have our priorities, you know, and um, those are, you know, valid. Uh, you know, kids, families, jobs. Right now, while this pandemic is happening, this is especially the time for you to really focus and study on what you feel like is going to be a plus for you to get into this type of business. So I'm always studying up on things. And, and I'm going to give you a couple of, of um, uh, pointers about things. Not because I'm some super expert, but because by now I've already produced six books that are out on Amazon right now. Paul Berry Comics. You can look up Rounds. You can look up Legend. Legend was the first comic book that I put out. Um, and so it's not the greatest that I would have liked to have done it, but the story is decent. And uh, I recently went back and remastered that and added color. It was in black and white. Because uh, the better I got in digital coloring, um, the more I wanted to see it in color. So uh, I did that. And since then, I've, I've gotten better. Uh, but, you know, I've got sketchbooks. We've got uh, inking, uh, progression uh, books also there too. So anyway, um, when I first looked at everything comics is something that i grew up reading i love comics comics can you know give you an outlet you can escape you can tell a story you can you can do great things with having people understand what it is is in your head that you want to put on paper now the problem comes with when you want to turn that into a job a 100 percent job then you've got to understand business because you can't keep putting out comics or manga or webtoons, you know, and you're an adult who's trying to survive and live and still make income to support your family or at least have a partial of that support and that money come in to be able to add to your monthly income while you're adding to somebody's, you know, regular entertainment. And so I feel like, you know, if, if, if you go out and you buy video games every month or you go out and you buy the newest pair of Nikes every month um, you know, as a supporter or a reader of comics or webtoons or manga, then you can spend two or three bucks or you can go read, you know, the webtoon and rate it on webtoons site um, to help support them or drop money in their PayPal and go, Hey, you know, I reach a brick every month. And even though I don't buy it for three bucks, I'm going to go ahead and toss you a buck, you know, for every time you put this new comic out, because if every year you can drop a buck in somebody's PayPal, right. Then for 12 months, that's $12. They pay $12 to get a year full of comics from you, which seems underpaid, but the more people who do it, you know, you're going to start going up and then they're going and then for those things like when you you know we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the little extras later but anyway what i'm getting at is study the business study whatever avenue of business that you want to get in that is a main part of your creating a comic company you don't create a comic company so that you can do everything for absolutely free i'm not saying 
that you got to charge an arm and a leg. You know, keep it at three bucks, you know, and because most comic companies are charging more than that. Uh, I think DC had the, uh, uh, we draw the line at two ninety nine slogan at once, and then all of a sudden it was back up to like five bucks. So if back in the day you can get a comic for a dollar or a dollar seventy five or a dollar twenty five or a dollar fifty, right now I think the appropriate thing is to keep it below three dollars, right? Because you're gonna, and that's if you're doing comics. Now here's here's my thing. Here's what I've decided for ballistic comics. I don't think I'm going to stick with the regular comic book form or the format. Uh, I think um, because I've drawn a lot of manga before and I've started manga stories before, um, you know, I, I may go back and forth, who knows, but manga is doing something very interesting right now. It is burning up the charts on sales. Comic books are not doing that well. And there's two things, which is a plus for the creator and the supporter of the creator. They give you more story for essentially less money. You go buy two comic books in a month, you spent almost $10. You go buy one manga and you spend about, you know, on average, seven bucks, right? But for manga, you're getting 200, 300, you know, pages. For comics, you're getting 20 to 25 pages for each book. And people go, wait, 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 but we colored it. Okay, you colored it. Is that it? Is, that's all? Okay, so you colored it, and now you're charging, you know, five books for 25 pages. That's why they're getting destroyed, right? Because manga is doing two things. They're telling you a great story. They're keeping your attention for longer. They're getting a chance to world build and expand the knowledge of what you're reading. You don't leave with unanswered questions. Most of the time you leave with the wanting of the next, you know, manga of that series. It's easy to keep up with because their series don't renumber. What it is is what it is. Series one, series two, book three, book four, book five, book six, book seven. That's how it is. Okay. So when you are, are, are thinking about your business, don't do what I did and go, man, I love comics. I want, I want to draw comics, right? Because you also have Webtoons. And Webtoons is amazing also. Because the format for that, if you've already been drawing comic books and you're drawing five panels for a page... Webtoons on the Webtoon site goes in a scrolling vertical fashion. Basically, you're doing a panel, a page. If you've got 50 pages in a chapter, that's about a week's worth of work every week. That's a lot, but not so much when you think about it. It depends on how much detail and art you're putting into those pages yeah if you you know you're going to scale it down a little bit you're not going to go full out jim lee detail drawing i love jim lee's art that art is amazing to me that's the era that i grew up in right so but if you were to take that same art scale back some of that detail keep it simple the talking and then bump it up on the action really make it a site to look at when it comes to the action and people are going to be engrossed in that webtoon and before you know it you'll be featured and you'll be getting a contract to get paid to be on webtoons so what i'm saying to you is is this video is still within the how to create a comic book company but it's also telling you how to 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 learn from those lessons that I'm learning now and that I have been and learn how to really research what it is you're doing. If you're researching what the numbers are and what the numbers say and you still want to draw, draw manga. If you're researching that and it's just you and you don't want to create a comic book but you still want to get your, your manga type characters out there, do webtoons. If you're still involved in wanting to do comic books, okay, 
and you have a team, because th that part's important. If you have a team to put out 20 pages a month, at least just not one person, but two, do comic books. If that's what you want to do. I'm one guy. I have a writer. But before the writer, I was writing, drawing, inking, coloring the whole story. Right? And I have a writer now, but I'm still drawing, coloring, inking the whole story. So, and that's every month. Because right now, I've only got seven pages to do. So I'm going to quit talking so I can get in here and finish that up this week. And still be on track. Give yourself deadlines. Give yourself a little break. You know, slow your pace up. Uh, my pace slowed up from doing two to three pages a day in comics. To doing one page. Uh, you know, great detail. Try to uh, trying to add in more detail with that to give people more to look at. Um, and doing a layout. For getting ready for the next page to go the next day. So I'm still ahead. It's almost like still doing two pages, except for I'm just not finishing out that layout for the night. Otherwise, I'd be doing two pages a day. So, um, this is important. Just do your research again, please. And um, if you guys come across this video, please like it. Please subscribe to it um, on YouTube. And if you are on Instagram or YouTube, you guys need to stop by Amazon you know, download my book. Uh, it's three bucks for rounds, issue one or issue two. Get both of them if you can. Follow the story. Hope you like it. Uh, Legend, which was one of the first books that I did. Um, it is also for three bucks. Um, I think if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can download it for free. You can also share that with someone else to read. Um, and if you just want to drop a donation, you can always go to my PayPal link down below. And uh, just drop anything you feel like is necessary to drop for the work that we're continuing to do. Um, it's a lot of work. Uh, and I, I do plan on entering into, for myself, for uh, some contests and some things like that. Just to kind of gauge where my art is and things like that. So, I want you to have a great day. Um, enjoy. I will have some uh, Twitch stream live drawings coming up this week so i hope you uh jump in there and we'll have some fun all right you guys have a great day take it easy